So Isaac, Katie, and I are here in the Manzano Mountains of New Mexico, and we are returning to a trail that kind of got us started in doing off-road stuff. So we did this trail years ago, going up to Cedro Peak, and we did it in our family SUV, a Ford Expedition. It was four-wheel drive, but not very off-road capable. So it was pretty interesting, but it gave us kind of our first experience in doing you know, some rocky trails and seeing what that's like. So we are in the F-150 today, and we are gonna go check out this trail, and we have, I think, tied it in with another through route. Uh, and we're gonna go up to Cedro Peak and yeah, see what it's like. So it should be pretty fun. All right, so I'm excited about this trail. It's uh, listed as a level four trail, which I think I've been on one level four trail before, but most of the trails I've done were threes according to the standard rating. The section this level four is real short, but I'm excited. Hopefully it'll be a little bit of a challenge. We need to get a little more technical and try to challenge myself a little bit. So I am really excited for this. Certainly I've never been on this kind of trail before. So really, 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 really excited <laughs> to get to do this up in the mountains and see more of a state that I've honestly always wanted to explore. So let's do it. So it's trailsoffroad.com that rates these trails is the rating system we, that we've been referring to. And um, they seem to have pretty good informational and accurate reviews about even some not so well-known trails like this one. Like Isaac said, the most significant rating we've been on in the past is a level three. And uh, this is a level four. I think the rating scale goes all the way up to 10, which is like Rubicon Trail kind of buggies and hop jeeps only kind of uh, trail. So, you know, pretty decently moderately difficult trail is what we're expecting. Might be kind of narrow, be kind of rocky. We'll see how it goes. Interesting little stretch of trail here. That's pretty, that's pretty gnarly over there. Oh yeah, okay. That's pretty serious. Uh, do you want to look at this first? It gets kind of gnarly up here. Yeah, this looks pretty gnarly. Oh wow. Hey, this is what that we came up here for, right? That is a size ledge there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna give it a whirl. I think we will um, we'll take it slow, we'll swing it right here, even jockey if we have to, to get around the corner there. And we'll come up, we'll put our right tire right here, and try to ride this up right here. You can see where other people have done the same thing. Um, basically trying to keep left tire right up here and straddle between here and here, and pop up on that. Definitely take it nice and easy. Um, this, there's another line over here that looks... Looks a little one, easier. This one looks a little bit better. Try that one though. I want to try that one. I think we can do it. Uh, we'll take it slow. Nice and easy. Nice and easy there. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, yeah. Let's not do anything, yeah. anything crazy. Let's talk about this. I think if you come back about to this rock. We can stack and, some rocks too. Okay. I want to I want to try to get up this strategically plan this out. Granted, yeah. We'd have to come back down if we come up to something else that we can't handle. <laughs> we'll come back down that side. We can come back down that I side. think it's not as bad over there. Okay, so we're flexing out there. 
because this right right through here is not bad as long as we're maintaining equilibrium that's going to be the hard ledge and i just have to keep can you even can you can you make that maybe maybe so not All right, so that worked. Where are we hitting here? You can, I don't know. You can put the wheel here, but I don't think you're gonna clear that. I think we might make this, but what I'm worried about is I can't put that tire through here. No. It has to be up here, right through here. Ease up to it and we'll see if we if there's so, any chance. The I don't like piling rocks in front of the ledge. Scrape your plastic. Okay. Let me look a little closer. I think the plastic's all that's gonna hit this rock at this very moment. Why don't you get out? I'm, I'm always back out. Yeah, always, always be going back out. I was just looking. It's, it's gonna come up, and it's about to come up. Actually, you might not scrape it. My, my main worry is if not so much the clearance the one time, but if it slips in. To do something here. Okay. Uh, I think that's the line right there, honestly. I'm going to try kind of a little passenger. Anybody think I'm doing dumb? Never. No? I think, I think we're I good like right now. I like to the ammo. Let's think about what happens when we get when the back tires get here. Let's just pay attention. Let's go really slow and be really fast on the stop. Yeah. yeah. But I think, I think we're doing okay right now. All right. Okay. Are you hitting the rock here? What do you think? You're on the rock over here. What if we put a traction board here? Unless you're done. I mean, I don't want to call it quits, but I I also want to get this vehicle home safe. Right. We got more stuff to do with it. We got more trail to enjoy. I think in this situation, I think we better just call it. And that's I think we're doing to get up there. Either. I think that's the thing we're doing. Let's try that. All right, we are switching to this line instead because it looks a little bit easier. This one, good challenge. I mean, that's what that's what exploring, like what your limits, finding what your limits are, it's a good thing. We haven't really had a trail that challenged us like this before and forced us to not go through an obstacle. So uh, actually really good experience even though we weren't able to make it up here. But we're gonna switch over to this alternate side which looks easier and I think, um, I don't think that'll be a problem for us. I gotta hit. The one tire on that big rock, no matter what. Driver, have that much. All right, now straighten up as you hit this rock. All right, uh, like, just like that. Six inches, three, two, one, go. On the rock. And on the second rock. How do we feel about that? That was good. I think we made a good team decision. That one obstacle, if we were on a trail somewhere, way in the middle of nowhere, we could have stacked rocks for a long time and gotten us through that. I mean, literally, we, we could have yeah, done that. Have. With a diff lock and my larger tires, um, Mike could have made it through. I don't have a dip lock, so. But good team decision. We had to go around, so we we did that, and we're we're headed on. Come on, come on, nice and easy. Three, two, one, on the rock.
This trail is putting our teamwork to the test in a good way. It's kind of stretching us on all counts in terms of having to be good, accurate spotters and also precise and skilled drivers as well. Only one driver, but it's a good trail. Do you want to go left tire on the big rock? No, let's go left tire just off the big rock. To the to which side? Left tire just to the right of the big rock. Which one? Hop out. You're not seeing the big rock I'm seeing. Oh. have completed that level four stretch of trail and now we are on that little section uh, that we did with the expedition years ago so uh, driving over it now we're kind of like wow this is actually uh, we did this with a street SUV like <laughs> kind of impressed actually because it isn't super easy we did, we did it very much slower than we're doing it now though so I will say that So that was a really cool trail. It really stretched me, it stretched the vehicle. Um, I really have a, a really good sense of accomplishment after doing that um, because not only was it challenging for the vehicle, we came up, up across an obstacle that we couldn't conquer without a lot of road building. But honestly, I feel, I feel good about it because it, we made a team decision, we worked together, and it was the best decision to go around it and do something different. So uh, in the past, I would have struggled a lot with that. You know, I feel like the trail defeated me and um, I just feel like we made a good decision and it'll be there next time. We'll build the vehicle a little more and come back another time. I think learning to communicate with one another in kind of a new language for some of us, for me in particular, and knowing even what tone inflection does for the driver. The different ways you can even just say like, hey, there's a rock, or scare him by saying rock, you know, and, and really even impacting his movements as the driver. It was a very relationship building moment. You know, when you're in a situation that has some consequences, whatever level of direness they may be, it's a really good exercise to see how you'll respond in those situations, how well your teamwork will hold up. And I think the three of us really came away having done that pretty well and doing a pretty good job of effectively building those relationships in that kind of pressure situation. So very good experience here on the Cedro Peak Trail. Man, super fun too. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.